swollen ankle. Tottenham back from the brink of financial ruin, looking now to this young side to sort out their problems on the pitch. Yes, and that Tottenham 11 looks to me as if it will line up like that. But what this, the, their managers and coaches at Tottenham will be wanting is that back four of Austin. Certainly a deep one. And Johnson too strong in the air for Allen. Probably wasn't quite the area that Tottenham would have liked Edinburgh to play the ball towards with others. Yeah, just like he used to be 10 years ago when he was a, a midfield player with a great eye for goal, one of the best around anywhere. Gazelle with possibly a foot raise, but Tottenham had the ball in any case. Offside against Jury. Just scared. A complete fluke, you might say. But Tottenham might feel that their season could turn on it. I don't believe it. I'm just, I thought Warren Barton would take some beating this year. But this is unbelievable. Look, he's just clearing it. He's getting as far away from Jason Dazelle as he can. And look at Craig Forrest. He's not that far out of goal. But that's unstoppable. An extraordinary. Well, what? 50 yards at least. Wind assisted. Goal for Candy. And here come Ipswich. Well, just when you think you've seen everything at this level, football has the capacity to surprise you and have you gasping in amazement. And even the scorer was gasping there. He's got the perfect line now, hasn't he? Even Pelly couldn't do that. <laughs> His mind back on defending. Spurs will hope at the moment. It's an Ipswich free kick. It's Walk. It's Walker, and it's a corner. But up, Gazelle. But the point I was really wanting to make was that Cundy typifying the type of character that Tottenham need, even before the goal. Here's Jury. And the old war horse has done it again. Most timely for Ipswich, right on half time. That's brilliant, Martin. He just gambles John Watt. He doesn't know it's going in there, but he spent a lifetime doing that. Gambling, going into the opponent's box. Just watch it here. He doesn't know. Watch him come into the picture. He's just taking a gamble that it's going to land there. And time after time, it has in his career. And Ipswich are right back in the game. And the timing of that will be... A standards it was a gift not accepted well you're right John Watt would normally just put these away without thinking about it chances like that are like Shell and Peas normally to John Watt would be absolutely and he cut it back for God and he does goal kick so it clearly would have been Giselle's goal I think it was Giselle against the last touch we watch it closely the diagonal again and it is Giselle's right foot Agonizingly wide. But this is a ploy of the views. Haven't they all matched the diagonal ball? The cell does brilliantly to even get there. And they scored in the dying moments against Liverpool on Tuesday. Well, I've got David Linnigan at the back post against Dean Austin. Oh, Whelan actually went in unfairly, I thought. Ruddock again, rallying the troops. Williams. Stockwell, and this time there isn't an angle. It goes straight, <laughs> I suppose, uh, taking a leaf from the Cundy book. <laughs> Who's to see it when they're sure? Ipswich are still unbeaten, but they've now drawn their three home games so far. John Walk. Goal! 